Good morning, everybody. Okay, so um, we are going to start with today's lecture. As you can see, today's lecture is a grammar lecture. It's about the future tenses. And I divided the lesson into two parts, the future simple and the future progressive, okay? I will allow you to unmute yourselves, but still only 12 students participated, why? Okay, let's start first. So as I said, today's lesson is about the future tenses. I will start with the future simple tense. First of all, let's talk about the objectives. Uh, so throughout this lesson, uh, you will understand the simple future and why is it used and how is it formed. Uh, you will also recognize and use the uh, future progressive tense. And you will recognize the difference between will and be going to. Okay, so these are the objectives that we are going to cover throughout the lesson. These are the three objectives that we will cover. So now let's start. Today we are going to explain the future simple tense. And tomorrow we will continue with the progressive tense, okay? First of all, there are many uses for the future simple tense. But before we start with the uses, I have to tell you something very important in which the future simple tense has two forms, has uh, the form of will and the form of be going to, okay? So we have two forms of the future simple tense, will and be going to. What we are going to talk about now is will, okay? Yana, what we are going to talk about now is the usage of the future simple using will not be going to, okay? So let's start. If I said, for example, I am cold, I will close the window. It means when did I take this decision? And please unmute yourselves and share with me. When did I take this decision? In the future. future. Yes, but yes, I know in the future. But in the present, I'm, hala, hala, I'm telling you now, I'm telling you now, I'm cold, I will open the window. Yani, when did I speak? Now, in the now. now. So the first use of the future simple tense is to express actions decided at the moment of speaking. What do we mean at the moment of speaking? Yani, on spot decisions. Yani, I just took the decision now. Now I felt cold, I will close the window. Now I feel hungry, I will make a sandwich. Now I feel hot, I will turn on the AC. So these are called on the spot decisions. Okay? Like I have a toothache, I will take some medicine. Okay. These are called on spot decisions. I just took the decision now. Okay? Yes. Okay. For unplanned future actions, let's read the example. Winter will come soon. Do you plan for winter, Yana? Do you decide when winter comes and so on? No. no. Is it a no. planned action? Yes. No. You plan for winter and you decide and winter is going to come in January, Masana? Unplanned. No. It's an unplanned, unplanned action. So, for example, what's the difference between planned on and, and uh, unplanned? Who can tell me? Unplanned that we can't predict our... Yeah, and unplanned, we didn't plan for it, but that's it. We planned mm -hmm. something that we planned for. Yeah, and I planned with my friends to visit um, the teacher on Saturday. This is a planned action. So for unplanned future actions, yeah, and actions that will happen in the future, but they are unplanned. 
The third use of the future simple tense is for offering. What do you mean by offering? I offer you something. I forgot my wallet at home. Don't worry, I will give you money. This is an offer. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, for so like this is an offer. Asking for a request. Will you get me a cup of water? This is a request. Promising. If you get the highest grade in class, I will get you a present. This is a promise. Ordering. Will you all sit down? This is an order. Threatening. If you misbehave, I will punish you. This is a threatening. This is a threaten. I'm threatening someone. Yes. Are you here with me? Yes. 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 I hope so. So as we said, the future simple, the will form of the future simple is used for uh, decided actions at the moment of speech, unplanned future actions for offering, asking for a request, promising, ordering, th and threatening. For unpreventable actions in future. What do you mean by unpreventable? We can't stop them. Very good. Actions that you cannot stop. Tab, if I said her birthday is uh, on January 2nd, can you stop this? No. Can you no. change this? No. no. So this is an unpreventable action, the ac an action that you cannot stop. Okay? Yes. Yes. Winter will come soon is also an unpreventable action. Okay, what's an unplanned action, Kamen? Yeni both. With time and purpose closes. What do you mean by time and purpose closes? When I say with time and purpose closes, it means every one of them is related to time. Okay? Yani to a certain period of time, it's combined, yani time is combined to a certain action. Like when I arrive to school, when I arrive to school, I will meet the supervisor. When I come home, I will have a shower. When I visit my grandma, I will take her some flowers. Okay, so Damon, I have when I have a time close. Okay, yes. For thoughts, predictions, assumptions, sureness, and fears about future, I think I will come to the party. This is a thought. I guess he is going. He uh, he will be late uh, to class. Uh, I believe maybe all of these are called uh, predictions and thoughts and also fears about the future. So these are the uses of the will form of the future simple tense. So for actions decided at the moment of speech, like I have a toothache, I will take a medicine. For unplanned future actions, winter will come soon. For offering, asking for a request, promising, ordering, and threatening. Like, I'm afraid we will get wet. If you misbehave again, I will punish you. When you pass the test, I will get you a gift. For unpreventable actions in future, like summer will come soon or her birthday is on January 1st and so on. With time and purpose closes, this, as we said, is always combined to a certain time. It's related to a certain time. When I say when, like when, and I will do the action. So when I arrive home, I will call you and so on for thoughts, predictions, assumptions, sureness, and fears about future. Also in these cases, oh, we use the future simple tense, the will form. Pay attention when I say the will form, like I think she will come to the part. Is everything clear till now? Yes. 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 Any questions? Yes. No. 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 Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now let's move to the affirmative, negative, and interrogative forms of the future simple. The will 
form. I'm saying will form and repeating it again and again to remember that we have two forms of the future simple, the form of will and the form of going to. I will go to Thailand. What's the negative form? I will not go to Thailand. I will not go to Thailand. So what changed between the first and the second uh, sentence? We added not. We added not. We added added not. not. So we just added not. Okay. So I will go to Thailand is the affirmative form. And the negative form is I will not. So when we want to change a sentence from the positive to the negative or from the affirmative to the negative form, all you have to do is not. By the way, changing the sentences, especially in the future tense, is very easy. Okay? It's not that complicated like in present and past. It's very simple. So, I will go to Thailand. Uh, I will not go to Thailand is the negative form. Can anybody please read the um, question form or the interrogative form? Uh, will, you go to will you go to Thailand? Will you go to Thailand? What did I start my question with? Will. 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 Very good. So I start my question with will. So this is the form of the affirmative and negative and interrogative forms of the future simple. So I will go to Thailand. I will not go to Thailand. Will you go to Thailand? This is very easy. Okay. Any questions concerning this? Is no. it difficult? Okay. Mm. No. Yes, I have a Very question. simple. Type. If I said they will play football together, who can change this to the negative? Me. Yes. Hey, miss. Can oh. I go to play? Yes, Dana Hashush. Yes. Yala ya Dana. They will they will not play football. Okay. Question for me, Dana. Yes. Will they play football? Will they play football? So this simple is it, yeah. Nothing to be added, okay? Very simple. Okay, miss? Yes, Zahra. I have a question. Yes. And uh, this sentence, why did we why didn't we put like will I go to Thailand? Why you? You cannot ask a question to yourself. Okay. okay, so I can't say, will I go to Thailand? So it's like illogical asking a question to yourself. That's why we change I into you. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Any questions before I move to be going to? No. 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 Yes. Stop. No. Now, we explained the uses of the will form. Now we are going to move to the uses of be going to. Be going to is very simple and it has only two uses, okay? It's not that complicated like will. There are no many uses, it's just two uses. And these are the uses of the be going to form. First of all, let me tell you something. When I say be going to, be is the helping verb. Yani be could be am, could be is, and could be are based on the subject. So I am going to. He is going to, they are going to, we are going to, you are going to, okay? That's why we call it be going to. So be is always the helping verb. Let's talk about the uses of be going to. Read, um, yeah, I want someone to read. Read, please. Yes. Okay, Zahra, read the Rita, example. Raise your voice, please. Razan, read Razan. I am going to buy a new laptop next week. I am going to buy a new laptop next week. Did he uh, state the time when he's going to buy a new laptop? Yes, when? next week. That was next week. So do you think that you already planned to do this next week? Yes. 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 So 
when I say planned actions or for planning, it means I already know when am I going to do a certain action. Yani, I am going to buy a new laptop next week. So I already planned for this. I will visit my, I am going to visit my grandma on Saturday. I already planned this action. So when you specify the time, you indicate the time in which you're going to do the action. In this case, uh, this is called planning. And in this case, uh, you use be going to because you already planned for this action. Okay. Can anybody give me an example about a planned action? We are going to the zoo um, tomorrow. Okay, we are going to the zoo tomorrow. Very good. I will do the homework in Saturday. I will. Malna, we going to. We are going to go to the Zoom tomorrow. Right to the zoo tomorrow. Right, the first one. We are going to uh, visit. Let's say the zoo. Will is not uh, be a uh, be going to. Yeah, it's different. Now let's move to the second use. Predictions of what you see. It is really cloudy. It is going to rain today. If it is cloudy, if you see that it is cloudy, okay? What can you tell about the weather? What can you tell that it's going to happen? It's going, going to, rain. to rain. It's going to rain. So it is really cloudy. It is going to rain today. This is what do we mean by predictions of what you see. And Anna, I predicted that it is going to rain, but not from my own mind, I predicted based on what I see. Yani in will, you can predict, but based on your, in heck, on your own opinion. But in yes, yani, it will not rain. What? Yani, I predict that it, was, it will rain, but maybe not. Who's talking, please? Who's talking? No, not maybe not. It's a prediction, but based on what you see. Maybe not, it happens, it doesn't happen. Hayda, it's none of your business, well, out of my business. Hayda, is, it's a sentence, miss. Anna, I looked at the sky. I saw that it is cloudy. When we see that it's a cloudy sky, directly we think about it raining. Yani it is going to rain. That's it. The student will get a full mark. Let me give you an example easier than this one. Um, if I said Hassan's answers in the exam are perfect, he is going to get a full mark. How did I know that he is going to get a full mark? Based on what? On his answers. Based on his answers. Yani, Anna, show me that his answers. Who found out his answers? Because they are perfect. You saw them. them. Very good. I saw the answers. For my prediction is based on what I see. Okay. Okay. The two boys are shouting at each other. It is going to be a big fight tonight. These boys are shouting at each other. They are having a fight. So based on what I see, and Anna Shifton, they are fighting. Heck, I predicted and know they are going to have a big fight. Okay? It might happen. It might not happen. Yeah, it's not necessary. But... This is called a prediction on what you see. Got it? Miss, can I give you, can I give you an yes. example? Yes, you can. Yeah. Okay. The blue team is nine points, while the red team is six points. The blue team is going to win. Thank you. That's it. Based on what? On what he see. Um, yes. Okay. On what he sees. He saw that the blue team is the winning team based on the score. So based on what he see, Mish on his own opinion. Got it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So as we said, the future progressive tense is used to express planned actions, especially when the time is stated and it's used for predictions of what we see based, yani I predict based on what I see. Be going to. When I say be going to, it means 
as we said, planning and predictions. Now we are going to move to the um, affirmative, negative, and interrogative forms of sentences that have been going to of this form. If you look at the first uh, chart, there are three charts, positive, yani affirmative, negative, interrogative. Let's look at the first chart. As you can see, they put all the pronouns, yani I, he, she, it, we, you, and they. Yani they added the pronouns that are used with am, they added the pronouns which are used with is, and the pronouns which are used with are. So I am, he, she, it, is. We, you, they are. So I am going to work. He, she, it is going to work. We, you, they are going to work. This is the positive form. Now, in the negative form, all what we did is added not. So I am not going to work. Okay? So this is how we changed it to the negative form. He, she, it is not going to work. We are not going to work. You are not going to work and they are not going to work. So all what we did here is to add not. Got it? Yes. Yes. This is what we have to do. Now, in the question form, in the question form, you always start your question with the helping verb. What are the helping verbs? Yeah, and if we're the verb to be, what are the verbs to be, Hon? Am, is, and are. Am, is, are. is, and are. Very good. So the verb to be here is am, is, and are. So you always start your question with am, is, and are. So am I going to work? Is he going to work? Is she going to work? Is it going to work? In the R form, plural. Are we going to work? Are you going to work? Are they going to work? So in the affirmative form, you start the subject, verb to be, and the verb. Then you switch. You, sorry, you don't switch in the negative. You just add not after the helping verb. And in the question form, you switch and you start your question with the helping verb, yani with the verb to be. You start your question with either am, with is, or are. And you decide this based on the subject. Yani Anna, I look at the subject. If the subject is singular, you add is. If the subject is plural, you add are. And if you are the speaker, yani you are... Uh, the one talking, you add uh, am. Okay. Any questions before we move to the exercise? No. 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 And tomorrow, Anna, if I asked you what is the simple present used to, you will answer the future. Sorry. Yeah. Hopefully. Yes. So. Let's now move to the exercise. Yeah, change the sentences in the chart below as required by raising your hands. I will pay for the tickets by credit card. I want the negative form. Yala uh, Yahuda. The negative, I, I won't pay for the, the tickets. Very good. I will not pay for the tickets by credit card. The interrogative form. Uh, will 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 you pay for the, the tickets by a credit card? Very uh, good, very good. So I started my question with will. Very good. Hassan Jirad, yalla, the second one. You won't help your classmate later. Won't, this won't, not W-A-N-T, W-O-N, apostrophe T means will not. So like I say, is not, isn't, are not, aren't, will not, won't. Yeah, you won't help your classmate later. I want the positive or affirmative form. You will help your classmate later. Thank you. Very good. Okay. The negative interrogative form. Let me choose somebody. Yalla, Lin Khalifa. Will you help your classmate later? Very good. Will you help your classmate later? Yeah. 
Rihab. We will go to the cinema tonight. Yada ya Rihab. I want the affirmative form. We will go to the cinema tonight. Very good, Rihab. We will go to the cinema tonight. Zahra Saad. Laris. Yes, miss. Yalla, the negative form. We will go to the cinema tonight. I want the negative form. We will, we will not go to the cinema tonight. tonight. Okay, thank you. Time. Leah Rayyib. Yes. He is, he is going, going to spend his vacation in Hawaii. The negative form. He will not spend. He will. He is going. He, will, he. He isn't. Yes. Going to spend his vacation in Hawaii. Okay, Larissa. Question four. Miss said, uh, why do uh, it in the interrogative? Mm. Yes. Is he going to spend his vacation in Hawaii? Very good. Okay. So um, we still have only two. Hamad Bawab. Yes, miss. We still have only two. Ali Basma. Yes. Yalla. John Smith is not going to be the next president. Yes. In the affirmative, John Smith is going to be the next president. Okay, thank you. Fatima Baddah. Fatima Baddah. Interrogative. Razan. Is John Smith going to be the next president? And we add a question good. mark. Very good. Yalla, we still have the last one. Are they going to make Sally's birthday cake? Can I answer? Yalla, Zahra. Um, in the affirmative, um, they are going to make Sally's birthday cake. Okay, they are going to make Sally's birthday cake. And a negative... Uh, are, aren't they going to make no the, negative they aren't going to make Sally's cake they aren't going to make Sally's birthday cake so these are the answers and you can find them here in the slide after this one um, this was everything for today tomorrow we are going to continue with the second part of the lesson which is the future continuous and I promise you it's much easier than this one because it has only two uses not many many uses such as um, same as the uh, future simple any questions before we end no okay guys thank you so much goodbye Bye. 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 Bye.